Every time allocation on Archer has a defined start and end date. Many projects will have several such period allocations, allocations of time that will start and finish. Usually when multiple allocations are made, one starts just as the previous one finishes. To check the time allocations for your project, log on as the PI, scroll down to the project and click Administer. Scroll down till you see the project that you want to make changes to. Click on Manage Project Resources. And under Manage Project Resources, Manage Group Time Allocations. By default, you will come to the screen showing the current time allocation. So, at present it is January 2015, so I'm seeing the allocation period which begins in January and ends June 2015. The allocation for that period is 1000 KAUs, and I can move time from the main Z98 project budget into any of the sub-budgets. By clicking on the sub-budget I wish to move to, and choosing the number of KAUs to move. Click on Move and you'll see what change has been proposed. You must click Submit Budget Allocation Changes for the change to take effect. If we return now to the time allocations, we will see that that change has been made. Down here we can see back and forward arrows. These allow us to move to allocations in previous allocation periods and in future allocation periods. Future allocation periods will usually be set up before they start and as soon as they've been set up you can begin working with them allocating the time to sub-projects. Click on the forward arrows to move to the future time period. So this time period runs from July to December 2015 and again you can make changes and allocate parts of the time to the sub-projects by choosing which sub-project time is to go to and entering the number of KAUs to move. Click on move, you will see the proposed change and then remember to submit budget allocation changes for the change to be actioned. So you're able to see all your allocation time periods by moving backwards and forwards using the arrows.